Pictures have surfaced of a crack that has opened at the flank of Etna, and that is concerning because that could indicate that we know it's accelerating right now, but it could accelerate even further and we could see a stronger volcanic eruption at Etna. And guys, keep in mind, for those of you who have seen my videos about this, Etna, a huge part of Etna is breaking apart and sliding into the sea underwater. If you have seen my videos about the landslides in Alaska and Norway, or even Switzerland, the mountain glacier collapse. This is what could happen at Etna, but there it would create a monstrosity of a tsunami. So what is happening at Etna? The volcanic tremors are still there. They are intensifying. And now we have this crack fissure, whatever that is, that has opened at Etna. Just on Thursday, Mount Etna was partially closed to visitors after a fresh volcanic activity has sent lava streaming down the slopes and bursts of fire into the sky. Magnificent pictures, but the authorities said stay away from that. We know that usually tourists are skiing next to the lava. Sometimes they're really scared and then they're running away from what's happening at Mount Etna. We had some close calls. So that's why authorities have blocked access above 2,500 meters after their monitoring systems have detected rising activity on the southern slope of Etna rising activity guys after it's already been erupting and they have drone footage that really showed this massive glowing lava flowing down the slopes of Mount Etna and like bright eruptions glowing into the darkness and guys Etna is Europe's largest active volcano, a stratovolcano. You see the cone, it dominates Sicily and it stands as high as 3,300 meters. That's roughly 2.7 miles. And it covers a large area, roughly 1,200 square kilometers. It's huge. Quickly, this is the part how it's breaking apart and it's only already moving down. I'll put that video, this is the thumbnail, I'll put it in the end screen. You should really watch that. So tourist excursions on Etna and up on Etna are very, very popular, but the access restrictions to the upper levels where the craters are absolutely makes sense right now after this renewed activity and after the acceleration that we see and now the threat that we might see something bigger guys that crack tells us something but what let's look into this and before we do guys i have to ask you something there's a new feature on youtube it's the hype feature if you see a hype button please press it to promote help me to promote my video and if you don't see it if at least on your cell phone if you see where the first comment is and you slide that to the right there's these two dots means you can slide it then the hype button comes so please press it leave it a like subscribe and stay with me because now it's getting interesting that crack formation on Etna is in the subterminal area of Etna. So will we see a major flank eruption? And how do these flank eruptions and these continuous volcanic tremors weakening the cracked area of this underwater slide? That is what concerns me the most. So what we know now from the picture that at least one large fissure has formed in the subterminal area of Etna, basically in front of the summit crater cones of Etna. From the Boca crater at roughly a height at 2,980 meters. And then something was noticed regarding the earthquake activity that was very intense. But in the last few days, it has decreased a little bit. So you might think, oh, it's decreasing. That's great. Will everything stop now? No, if you watch my channel, you know it's the calm before the storm. Maybe. 
right? It's not 100% sure. But we have seen a phenomenon like this before recently we've seen paroxysms at Etna. So the paroxysms that happen at Etna, they're short, they're intense, and they're very, very violent. A violent burst of volcanic activity comes with sustained lava fountains, ash plumes, increased emission of lapilli, these small volcanic rocks. Venendo dalla sua deccarderia verso Refugio Sapienza, e questo è quello che sta succedendo that are shooting through the area and volcanic bombs. And you've probably seen the video when I reported about these hikers that were caught by surprise and they were kind of running for their lives. Impressive video how this cloud is basically following them and it's very dangerous if these little volcanic rocks hit you because they hit you at high speed. You cannot outrun them. Remember White Island, guys. I have to mention this again and again. These paroxysms are nothing unusual at Edna. They are the normal activity that, that Edna has in its eruptive cycles. And uh, it's like an outlet for the energy that the volcano wants to release. And Edna has always and most of the time multiple phases from low intensity initially, then to intense activity, then fountain-like eruptions. And then normally it returns to lower levels of activity. But a crack like this, that we see this on pictures, that is strong, I have to say. And the Civil Protection Agency of Italy also seems to think that because just yesterday they have raised the Aetna warning level to F1. So F1, what does that mean? That's urging residents and the visitors and the tourists um, that, are, that want to come to the volcano, that are still coming to the volcano. It urges them to be especially careful close to the summit area close to the eruption area. We all remember what I just showed you, the early eruption in June. Last time an F warning was issued, that was in June, because that warning then did result in a pyroclastic flow that was shooting volcanic wrecks, rocks out and ash out, and then was flowing through the Valle del Bove, this valley, and it has endangered numerous tourists at that time. And But at that time, they also increased the warning level to F2. We're not there yet, but that could come. Because that fracture is atypical. It's not the normal thing if we have an impending paroxysm. So what is it then? Definitely, it indicates that we have somewhere in that area severe ground deformation. Otherwise, the crust would not be that stretched. The slope would not crack. What causes the ground deformation? Magma. This is a volcano. So magma is accumulating somewhere. It's intruding somewhere. There's a magma intrusion in that area where the crack has formed. Of course, the opposite could happen. Cracks can also happen when there's a subsidence instead of an inflation. We don't know. I mean, Etna is currently erupting. It's releasing stress. It's releasing magma. Do we have a subsidence because of that? Is the stress in the rock decreasing and it is coming down and that's why it's cracking? But usually, if there was a trend of stress reduction, that can also turn around very, very quickly in the opposite. When the magma supply coming up from deeper magma sources increases again. And Etna, like most of other volcanoes, has extremely dynamic processes that are hard to predict. And they can change rapidly in any moment, very unpredictable. 
And I also have the latest press release from the Etna Volcanic Observatory that's part of the INGV as like Campi Fligri and Vesuvius, they have the Vesuvius Observatory and of course Etna has its own observatory as well because it's so active. So this is today's statement. So the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, the INGV, and the Etna Observatory reports that their surveillance camera images and drone surveys that they just conducted um, in the summit area show that this Strombolian activity continues at a varying intensity at the southeast crater and this activity produces modest and sporadic ash emissions that rapidly disperse in the summit area and under the influence of high altitude winds. During the most energetic phases, Strombolian activity is characterized by an increase in the number of explosions and pyroclastic debris falling over the crater rim. Effusive activity from the vent at 2,980 meters above sea level still continues. The latter feeds a lava field with, with at least three main flows, three, um, which distal to the vent also divide into further lava flows from there. That's what we've seen in the videos and in the pictures. And the most advanced front of this lava flow um, that they found today reached an altitude of approximately 2,350 meters above sea level, just upstream of other vents of the Pecoraro vents at a height of 1,610 meters. And they say they also, aside from this service, they, they observed that the lava field that is produced by another vent at a height of 3,100 meters is right now inactive and cooling, while the other crater that is a little bit higher, that's at 3,200 meters, is still fed. And the most advanced front, which is developing in the southeast direction, reached an altitude of approximately 2,870 meters. And now they say, from a seismic perspective over the past 24 hours, the average amplitude of volcanic tremors has remained high and the locations of its source um, remain confined to the southeast crater at an altitude of approximately 3,000 meters. That's where we all have these openings, the vents, the lava flows. So, and they say following the intense infrasonic activity recorded yesterday, a clear decrease in the rate and amplitude of infrasonic events has been observed since earlier today. And the events seem to be localized to the southeast crater. Ground deformation still rising, no significant changes. So this is what the officials are saying. They're not giving an opinion what could happen next. But that crack, I wanted you to see that, guys. I thought this was important. This really could indicate that this thing is about to intensify and not ending. I will keep you updated. Like and share this video. If you want to fill me up with coffee, scroll down here and there's a link to my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site. Thank you for your supers. Become a supporting member by clicking the join button for behind the scene videos, for my travel videos and private stuff. And click that in the end screen if you want to know about Etna that's breaking into the sea, but also my other video that I just released. Really, really interesting, guys. You really should see that. So go to my start page, go to videos, go to recent. There you see them all that you don't miss one. I see you in the next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.